This is Nikolai Tinsel with the Santana Forge. Last year, Team Frostbite proved our heavy walker could survive the nuclear winter wonderlands. Command has now requested a smaller scout that can squeeze through tighter passes. We are calling the prototype Permafrost. In the spirit of the Dominion Recycling Mandate, this prototype will use surplus housing material from the decommission naughty list. If you'd like to see us cook up this composite ourselves, you can always revisit the Frostbite Visual Report from 2024. The ultrasonic cutter made surprisingly quick work of this material, but even our usual precision saws chewed through it beautifully. The Engineering and Logistic Fabricators, or ELFs, were delighted to work with the stock compared to last year's. Speaking of last year, this old bar stock was graded for straightness using a simple machine. Last year's albumin solution worked like a charm, so the ELFs whipped up another batch for permafrost. With the stock cut and the binder ready, the ELFs begin stitching the plates into sturdy sub-assemblies the mech can rely on. Accidents happen. We only fail the mission if we give up. So the ELFs and I aim for progress, not perfection. Permafrost is a scouting platform, not a frontline brawler, but Command still insisted on basic deterrence. These compact rotary barrels are more than enough to convince any Krampus class hostile to keep its distance. Component tuning is always the messiest phase. 
hand sanding every panel produces an impressive snowstorm of dust, and it is not the most efficient use of ELFs. If you would rather have someone else handle the dirty work, the Dominion is partnered with PCBWay. PCBWay offers PCB prototyping, 3B printing, CNC, and more, with fast turnaround and reasonable pricing. Their Christmas sales end December 31st, so take a look at their offerings before the new year. A misread housing specification quietly snowballed through the laminations, only revealing itself once the feet were positioned and the pelvis refused to line up as intended. We traced the error redesigned each subassembly, and signed off on a new frame that remains fully mission ready. If there's one lesson to learn, it's this. Create a continuous supporting column from foot to hip, and let the main chassis sit squarely on top. That way, the weight goes straight into the ground instead of pulling the joints apart. These bearings were a lifesaver. Secondary bearing caps were installed at the knees and ankles, sealing the joint housings against drifting snow and stray debris. Rear-mounted exhaust vents are added to release surplus heat that may trouble internal systems. A dedicated ammunition module was designed for frame integration to supply the twin rotary guns. The entire lower arm serves as the receiver block, with each component aligned precisely for use with the rotary barrels.
Although the frame has functional parts, it still needs electrical integration. Braided control lines are routed along the rear of the chassis to each actuator pivot. If you plan to run hydraulics in sub-zero climates, make sure the entire system is properly winterized. Otherwise, you'll go nowhere fast. The last phase of construction is to stud the hull with reinforcing rivets to prevent the plates from wandering during a storm. The exterior first receives a cryogenic reflective primer. This pearlescent base coat will even out surface temperatures and protect against freeze-thaw fatigue. It's very hard to fix mistakes at this point, so I would recommend not making any. Over the primer and through the airbrush, we apply standard winter operations livery, saturating the armor plates a high visibility green. Exposed joints, pistons, and vents are treated with an anti-icing compound, which should keep the parts moving and discourage ice from seizing the mech. Critical susceptible surfaces are finished in a chrome-based coating to increase corrosion resistance. The braided control lines are sleeved in a traceable gold finish to ease maintenance in low visibility field conditions. With cold terrain packed underfoot, permafrost is cleared for narrow pass operations to the north. This is Nikolai Tinsel wishing you a safe winter ahead.
Thank you for making time to engage with this broadcast. Your attention supports the mission of the Royal Archive. Additional gratitude is extended to Royal Archive patrons, whose contributions sustain the continued recovery and review of critical records. Access ad-free visual reports for $1 per month, or join the Archive Discord for $3 per month. Submit recommendations or concerns below. All entries are subject to review by the Royal Technocratic Dominion. This transmission is now concluded. Merry Christmas, and Happy New Year.